Hey all my friends, please check to make sure that you are still subscribed to this channel. People do get unsubscribed every day. And consider please joining my channel membership. You get exclusive videos, exclusive members only live streams, emojis and more. Join the Doomcock army. We need you my friends. Thank you and enjoy this video. <laughs> Things are moving very quickly at Lucasfilm. I am receiving daily snippets of news and rumors so quickly that before I can get anything out, I'm hit with another even bigger story that takes priority until the next day when something else makes that story look small in comparison. I have some breaking news regarding an event that allegedly took place at Disney or Lucasfilm this past week, along with some new rumors I believe may relate to this event. Rumors I have yet to report that will make the majority of fans want to tear their hair out and bang their heads against the wall. Please be advised that what I'm about to report to you is information provided to me by sources inside Lucasfilm or Disney that I cannot independently verify, and I therefore urge you to consider this report to be a rumor and take it with a fistful of salt. Fair warning, I caution you right now. What I'm about to tell you will almost certainly make you want to throw your remote at your television or smash your computer monitor because this stuff is going to make you mad. But I urge you, don't despair. There is hope I will share with you at the end of this video, along with a possible reason for this event at Lucasfilm. But until then, hold on to your hats and buckle your seatbelts. The ride is about to get bumpy. I am informed by several independent sources that a very important meeting took place at Lucasfilm late in the day on July 3rd. Virtually everything I present to you in these videos, including this one, must be considered as rumor, but that said, I feel fairly confident that this meeting actually did take place due to the number of people sending me information about it. And yet, even so, no one has been able to say exactly what this meeting was about. Part of the challenge of bringing you these videos is simply determining how to break down the information into digestible chunks and present it in a way that ties things together in a clear and logical manner. Well, in order to speculate regarding the topic of this very important meeting on Friday, I need to backtrack a week to another rumor that may be relevant to this situation. A rumor of catastrophic developments in the Kennedy camp that are enough to make any Star Wars fan wail and gnash their teeth, rending their garments and longing for the sweet release of the apocalypse. On Tuesday, June 30th, I was sent a disturbing rumor regarding a new project that Kathleen Kennedy was pushing into development, a Knights of the Old Republic movie. My source was interviewing someone with knowledge of the situation, someone I will call Mr. X, mainly because I think it's kind of funny and dorky to do so. And this was the exchange that occurred, and I'm paraphrasing here, just to be clear. My source asked if there were Knights of the Old Republic movies in development. Mr. X hesitantly confirmed that yes, Kathleen Kennedy is helming a Knights of the Old Republic film. But if the rumors are true, the news is even worse than that. My source asked, what rumors? Mr. X replied, it's looking like Brie Larson is going to be in it. Word is she will play either Bastila Sean or Revan. My source didn't flinch at that, saying they'd already heard that. But then Mr. X replied, yeah, but have you heard who's directing this movie? My source answered that we were told it was Tico Woke Titty, right? Mr. X answered, yes he is, but turns out there's going to be a second director, Ryan Johnson. At this point, my source lost it. Imagine, Kathleen Kennedy producing a perversion of Knights of the Old Republic starring Brie Larson, directed by Tico Woke Titty and Ryan Johnson. Can you imagine it? Could there be any greater gob of spit horked into the face of Star Wars fandom than this, a complete and utter bastardization of the last pure untouched corner of the Star Wars universe? Can you imagine 
the sheer amount of hatred, alienation, and fury that would burn across the fandom like a wildfire if Kennedy was allowed to drive this final spike through the heart of the franchise. This would surely be the last straw, a final insult to a fandom already beaten and scorned and humiliated beyond words by Kennedy and her twisted brand of identity politics. Ruin Johnson was Kennedy's accomplice in the murder of the Star Wars franchise. When The Last Jedi was plunged like a shiv into the back of the franchise, severing its spine and piercing its heart, its beating heart known by the name Luke Skywalker. Johnson facilitated Kennedy's orgy of identity politics, rolled over for her, and caved into her every SJW whim, destroying Star Wars in one fell swoop. The prospect of Kennedy and Johnson reuniting to do to Knights of the Old Republic what they did to The Last Jedi was too much for my source to bear. In reply to my source's pained protestations, Mr. X stated that this was Kennedy's way of sabotaging the effort to destroy the sequel trilogy using the Veil of the Force, but would elaborate no further. This conversation happened on a Friday, June 26th. The following day, on Saturday, June 27th, my source was able to verify the details that Mr. X provided with yet another source close to the situation. So it appears that indeed, the thing fans dreaded the most is coming true, or at least it was, up until the following Monday, June 29th, at which time my source received a call from Mr. X. There had been a new development regarding Kathleen Kennedy. According to Mr. X, and again, please take all of this as rumor pending further verification, Lucasfilm had received a letter stating that all projects being developed by Kathleen Kennedy were to stop until further notice, and all the budget funds for those projects were being pulled. No reason for this stoppage was given in the letter, but Mr. X speculated that the reason was the powers that be had received word of Ryan Johnson's continuing involvement with Kennedy's projects. At this time, Mr. X also confirmed what I had reported earlier, that Kennedy had not been directly heard from for weeks at that point, leaving it to her right hand to deliver her marching orders to her people. Subsequently, yet another source was able to add some additional information regarding these events, elaborating that not only did the powers that be put a halt to all the projects being developed by Kennedy, but she was required to present to the powers that be everything she had been working on by the coming Friday, July 3rd. Apparently, this was not the doing of Bob Iger and Bob Chapek, but rather representatives from the fiscal side of things at Disney, individuals my source deems, quote, the money people, unquote, though I have no specifics beyond that. So that was the information my source provided to me, on June 30th. I decided to report a different story at that time and sat on this one to mull it over, looking for some kind of confirmation, reading the tea leaves as it were. I may have gotten that confirmation yesterday when one of my newer sources contacted me quite independently of all of this, informing me that a very important meeting had taken place at Lucasfilm on Friday, July 3rd, a meeting where something key was decided. Only by tracing back to this sequence of events, reported independently by my usual sources without ties to my new source, did the idea present itself. Was this the meeting where Kathleen Kennedy was required to present her projects for review? Was the continuation or cancellation of Kennedy's projects the topic of discussion? If so, what major decision was made? I was informed that a major announcement was coming regarding this meeting the first week of September 2020. Could it be that the long-threatened Knights of the Old Republic series with Brie Larson and Ruin Johnson is being scrapped? Could it possibly be that Kennedy's exit is going to be announced in advance of Star Wars Celebration 2022? Has Disney management finally had enough, and can any of us wait? till September to find out if this is good news 
or bad news? Will they announce that Knights of the Old Republic is cancelled, or at least this horrific iteration of it is cancelled? Will they announce that Kennedy and Johnson are no longer associated with it? Or will the news be confirmation of our worst fears, the final nail in the Star Wars coffin? I'm sure listening to these rumored plans to destroy Knights of the Old Republic wasn't pleasant, but it was very important to present a possible context for this purported meeting. Things are happening at Lucasfilm, and they are happening very quickly if these rumors are to be believed. Stay tuned to this channel for updates as they are provided to me, and tune into my live stream tonight for further discussion of these rumors. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha 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 